Hey everyone, I hope you are doing good. So in this video, I will tell you how to delete a Google Analytics property and account as well. So first of all, you need to head over to analytics.google.com and here you need to enter your login credentials. After that, you will see this page. So here in top left section, you need to click on this arrow and in this section, you have the, all the accounts that you created in your Google Analytics and each account has a property. So this is how it works. First we have accounts and then each account have multiple properties. So in this video I will show you how you can delete both accounts and property as well. So first of all let's select this account and in this I will select this property and click all website data. After selecting any property you need to go to this admin section in the left sidebar admin and in admin you can see that here is the account and here in the drop down I can select all the available accounts in my Google Analytics. So if you want to delete an account you need to select the account from drop down and then after selecting the account you need to go to account settings. So this is when you want to delete an account not a property. So after selecting account setting here you can see the button move to trash can. When you will click this button all the properties that this account is containing will also be deleted with this account so this is how you can delete an account and now let me tell you how you can delete a property one property represent one application it could be your website or, or a mobile application as well so account has multiple properties and one property represent one application so first of all you will select account from here after that here you can see property so this drop down contain all the properties that this account has so you need to click this drop down and select the property that you want to delete let's say i want to delete this property and after selecting this you need to go to property setting same like account setting this is the property setting and here you can see move to trash can just click on this button and then this is the confirmation page where you can uh, confirm the deletion of this property so just click move to trash now this property is deleted and here you can see this has a line throw over it this property will stay here for 35 days but this is not usable because if you click on this drop down you will not see it here alright so it will stay here for 35 days after that it will be deleted permanently this 35 time period is for restoration for example it's if you deleted any property by mistake then you can always go to the trash can and then restore the property from here you see the property is showing here you can also restore this property from here if you delete it by mistake so hope you like it and you understand how you can delete a property and account as well thank you so much